Dr. Sue, is negative ion a waste of money? Is it a tax? I'll show you a few experiments to know. Let's see the experiment. Stir the water with iodine tincture. Starch turns blue-purple. And it turns back to white after blowing by our product. The Yardish and negative ions deserve the reputation of longevity in air. Wow. Oh. Even if negative ions are dissolved in water, smoke can be purified. We will drop pH reagents into tap water and smoke fully mixed turns into a red bright color. Using negative ions to a clear blue color, the experiment proved that anions deserve the reputation of air vitamin. It can purify from the outside to the inside. It's amazing. This is just the tip of the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg of the mystery. Do you know any other amazing functions of ions? Welcome to leave a message in comments. Negative ions are called a factor in nature. Vitamin oxygen, air purifier, and so on. The World Health Organization's the standard for fresh air. 1,500 negative ions per cubic centimeter. According to this standard, people need to inhale 1.3 billion ions a day. Seems that negative ions are not a waste of money. But what you buy may be a... Why is it a tax? between negative ions and negative E. There are three huge gaps to cross. The first gap is a paradox. What is a paradox? A paradox is something that is, which sounds incredible, which is theoretically difficult to solve. For example, in theory, how many negative ions? There will definitely be the same amount of cations. If positive ions are not planned and treated, artificial negative ion products are meaningless. Another is the paradox of ozone and static electricity. Without instruments, how can I judge the product, whether it is a good negative ion? You can leave a message in the comments. I'll teach you a simple verification method. Do you think negative ions are a waste of money? Leave your thoughts in the comments section.